An ongoing SCDOT road construction project in the upstate is creating a lot of problems for drivers and their vehicles. WYFF News Force Rashad Williams has a look at why drivers are so upset and when road conditions could improve. If you've had to cruise on 385 South through Malden into Simpsonville lately, it's so incredibly rough that you really do feel like you're off-roading. You may have mistaken this miles-long stretch of road for your favorite amusement park. It's like a roller coaster, the one that Cal wins, the old one. You're holding the steering wheel just so you don't, you know, get pushed one way or the other. For the past few weeks, SCDOT has been working to repave this highway from Simpsonville into Fountain Inn. Grooved pavement, uneven lanes, loose stones, and potholes mixed in with heavy traffic. It's a headache. The first sign for this project can be seen at mile marker 31, but the project seems to start at exit 27 for Fairview Road and runs all the way through exit 22. The time between when they're grading the road and actually relaying the asphalt seems to take weeks. It takes them overnight to destroy it. It takes them weeks to fix it. And people like Tim Thome, who travel this route every day. I've got a fairly new car. Say the construction is really leaving a mark. It's like it's raining gravel. It's raining gravel on your car, and it's it's frustrating as a car owner. I had a lot of rocks flying up on my car, so when I got home, I did a real quick inspection. I noticed I had a couple of little spots of paint that were nicked off my car. Tim isn't the only one. You can see more damage done to cars in these viewer photos. And in a statement, SCDOT says in part, the contractor is required to clean the roadway each night to try to minimize these kinds of impacts. We expect construction to be fully completed in spring of next year, though substantial improvements to the roadway will be completed this summer. In Simpsonville. Go the back way. Go on the side roads, just quicker. Rashad Williams, WYFF News 4. And crews will begin working overnight to expedite the project starting Friday. If you have significant damage to your vehicle as a result of this construction project, you can file a claim through the DOT. More information on how to do that, head to WYFF4.com.